In this video, you're going to learn where other real estate investors are lurking and also where high net worth individuals are so you can start having those conversations about partnering in your real estate investing journey. If you're excited, go ahead and hit that like button for me, turn it blue so more people know where to find these types of people so they can start partnering. Now, imagine for a second that you have unlimited amounts of money to buy real estate. How many properties would you buy? Would you buy 10, 100, 1,000? This is what it's like to use other people's money, also known as OPM. Not OPM like the drug, but OPM. Now, this is one of the best real estate investing strategies out there. That's because the ROI for you is so much higher than normal. Because think about it, if you're able to buy a property that's cash flowing you $200 a month, but you don't have to put any money down, that's an infinite return. A few reasons to why you want to use OPM is because you either don't have the money to start investing in real estate, or you're just tired of using your own money, you want a higher ROI. So going back to the example of if you had unlimited amounts of money, how many properties would you buy? Think about it. If you have someone over here, let's just call them person A. Person A is willing to invest $100,000 with you. That's roughly three properties and you're not having to put any money down. Now you have another person over here, let's call them person B, willing to invest $500,000 with you. Well, that's roughly whatever that number is, 15 properties. You're making money off of other people's money. So with those 15 properties, for example, that someone that's wanting to invest $500,000 with you, if you're able to be cash flowing $200 per month per property, so it's 15 properties, that's $3,000 a month that you're making and you didn't have to use any of your own money. That's how powerful this is. But every time I talk to someone about using OPM, the number one question I get is, okay, but where do I find these people? I'm going to answer that specific question. And as a bonus to you, I'm also going to give you a way to strike up a conversation with them to possibly opening the door to partnering. With that said, let's get into it. The first place you're going to find people to partner with, and these are high net worth individuals, is at Black Tie Events. And now Black Tie Events is it's a fancy name for charity events. All you have to do is look up black tie events or charity events in whatever market that you're in and you can go to these events. Think about it, who donates more to charity? Most of the time it's the wealthy. I'm not saying that the lower and the middle class don't invest in charities, but whenever it comes to the amount donated, it's typically the wealthy. That's because they just have the most to give away. Whenever you're going to these events, you're surrounded by people that are high net worth individuals and probably have a lot of capital. And now they're probably also getting 10% ROI in the stock market. Now, one thing to note, whenever you're attending these events and you're dealing with high net worth individuals, it's not all about getting a high ROI for them. It's about the safe preservation of the capital that they've invested so far. It's more about the safe preservation of the capital that they've already invested while getting a decent return so they can counteract the effects of inflation. While their money is sitting in the stock market producing only a 10% ROI, they're at risk of the volatility of the market because you and I both know how volatile that the stock market is. With real estate, it's a lot less volatile. It produces greater returns and their capital, again, going back to the safe preservation of their capital, their capital is backed by a real piece of property rather than a piece of paper like a stock. These are some key points that you're going to want to bring up whenever you are talking to these high net worth individuals. The number one question you're going to get asked whenever you're going to these black tie events and you're surrounding yourself by all these high net worth individuals is what do you do? That's the number one question anyone asks whenever you're meeting someone for the first time. Whenever someone asks you this, you're not telling them that you're a teacher or a dentist or whatever your day job is. You're telling them that you're a real estate investor. This will open the door to begin talking about real estate and how it can benefit them more than where their money is sitting right now, either in a bank or the stock market. Another great place to finding these either high net worth individuals or other real estate investors to be partnering with is at golf clubs. I remember sitting in the parking lot, just waiting for people to be coming back from their golf games to strike up a conversation with them. Like I would be sitting there, they'd be coming back to their cars and I'd be getting out. And so what happens next is I'll be walking past them and I'll be like, oh, hey, how'd your golf game go? And then you'll be talking to them about their golf for about 30 or 40 seconds or whatever. And you're going to just sit there. You're going to sit there and talk to them, have some small talk with them. And then eventually that number one question is going to come up. Hey, what do you do? Again, you're going to tell them that you're a real estate investor. Don't tell them what you do as a nine to five. Just tell them that you're a real estate investor. One key thing to know is whenever you are dealing with these high net worth individuals is you're not going to pitch them the first time. This is all about building rapport with them. You're going to have conversations with them, have coffee with them, have dinners with them, etc. And you're going to keep bringing up and reinforcing that you're a real estate investor and talking about your real estate endeavors. Whenever you're meeting them for the first time, you're going to get their phone number. You're going to talk to them about getting coffee. Then after the third or fourth dinner date or the third or fourth coffee date, you're going to start beginning to kind of hint at that you want to partner with them. If they say 
say no, that's perfectly fine. Just continue to build that rapport with them. And then over time, they're probably going to be investing with you because you're going to talk to them about how you're producing a 25% ROI because with real estate, that's really easy. If you want to learn how to produce a 25% ROI or more, there's going to be a link in the description down below this video. It's also going to be in the comments down below this video as well to my real estate accelerator program where I show you exactly how I was able to do it. But instead of getting a 25% ROI, I tripled my money in just one year. Another great place to be finding real estate investors and potential partners is actually through Facebook and Instagram. Before you click out of this video, hear me out because this is actually how I found my very first partner. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to Facebook and you're going to start joining real estate investing groups. Once you join these groups, you're going to start friending everyone inside of that group. And if they accept your friend request, you're going to strike up a conversation with them. Again, this is how I was able to find my very first partner. I joined a real estate investing group. I started friending people. He accepted my friend request back. I started asking questions. I started asking like, how's your real estate investing journey going? And then whenever he started telling me some problems, he was having i was able to answer those problems i started building rapport with him then after a week i threw out the idea of partnering with him and if he was able to put down all the money on the down payment i was going to find the property and i was going to manage the property myself he agreed to the partnership and before i even brought up partnering with him he was wondering how he could bring up the conversation to partnering with me this is because I was building rapport with him and I was answering his questions about real estate. Now, it kind of has the same effect over on Instagram, except you're not going after real estate investing groups, you're finding the big real estate investing pages. What you're gonna do from there is you're going to go to the followers, like whoever's following that page, and you're going to follow those people. If they follow you back, you're going to strike up a conversation just like you did. You're going to start building a relationship with them, start building some rapport, and talk to them about how you can make this a win-win for y'all too. The next place you can find investors to start partnering with is at your REI meetups. And this is the question I get all the time because whenever other people are saying, go to your REI meetup, they don't really explain what that means. So here it is, just go to meetup.com because you can just type in their little search bar and say real estate investing in whatever city. So if you're in Denver, Colorado, inside of meetup.com, you're just going to type in real estate investing meetup Denver, Colorado. Here's how powerful this is. Someone that I found, someone I found through Instagram, like I was telling you earlier, he went to his very first REI meetup and he was able to start partnering with three different people. This happened on his very first meetup. All he did was start striking up conversations with people, start brainstorming ideas, talking about real estate, etc. He told me that the people that he was wanting to partner with, all they told him he needed to do was to find the properties and manage the property. That's it. If you're doing all these methods, you're going to find someone to partner with. You can do this next thing either before or after finding someone to partner with, and that's finding a killer deal. The deal will mean everything because if you bring a bad deal to a partner that this is your very first interaction with someone, if you bring a bad deal to them, they're not going to do business with you ever. In order to find these killer deals, you can either watch the video that's popping up on your screen right now, or you can download my free 13 ways to finding off market properties ebook. And that's going to be in the description down below this video as well, whichever one I don't care because both ways will show you how to find killer deals. But until the next video, I'm out. See ya.